Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Houston Kilby and this is the Houston Kilby YouTube channel. And uh, today we're gonna be working on GTO again. Uh, in the last episode, you guys got to see us uh, working on all kinds of EGT stuff and all kinds of things on GTO. And uh, we're still doing a lot of wiring on this car. Uh, today we're gonna be mounting the uh, battery box. Uh, so I'll walk you guys over here and kind of see what we're up against. And uh, we'll jump right on into this episode here. So uh, we need to mount the battery box back here and uh, we need to mount the kill switch and all kinds of stuff and we got kill switches in the car we got to mount so uh it's gonna be a full up episode a lot of busy stuff going on so let's jump in this episode and let's have a good time <music> have this piece all welded up now and uh i'll grab that battery tray and let you guys see what this is going to look like here all right so grab a battery tray going over here all right so it's going to sit on this thing something kind of like that all right and then right in here we're going to put some welds on it once this thing is centered up yeah like that you guys can see where i've already scuffed up on it there uh, we'll put some like a uh, stitch welds there and uh, by the time that's all welded on and this up here is welded onto the chassis and then this will be notched onto the uh, bottom frame rail of the rear tree. This thing's going to be strong as I'll get out. So uh, let's get to it. This one is actually a smaller box than what that one is and i've got a couple of these that's in stock and stuff but you can see right here this battery box see how much the difference is right there almost messed up almost put too small of a battery box in so that way that one we got a little bit more extra room for a bigger battery and stuff but um got that stuff tacked up uh it is now time to uh get the kill switch and stuff back here and uh, I'm excited about that. So let's get into the next phase of this, mounting the kill switch. So we 
got our kill switch and stuff set up back here. We got our battery box in and we've got our push and pull lever set up and stuff right now. And uh, check this out right here. Hand back on up just a little bit. That way you guys can see his handle and stuff. So check this out. Boom. And then you wanna close it just like that. And we're in there like swimwear. Uh, we do got cool stickers and stuff that came from Flaming Rivers set that stuff like that right there it'd be kind of cool i guess but uh anyways there's one more piece to the puzzle so i move on to the next thing all righty guys i had to kind of hammer down on some stuff here i was having problems with uh getting camera angles and stuff so i went ahead and got some stuff done so i went ahead and mounted this switch up here it's the master kill switch up there beside my painless switches there again another flaming river master kill switch um and then uh, this little egt uh, module we got it mounted and stuff on the dash right there check this deal out right here um this stuff here will get cleaned up right now it's just got way too much wire on it but for this video uh you can at least kind of see how this works here and stuff so um uh, th this will kind of close up in here again this is a lot of excess wire that doesn't need to be there we could probably stuff some of this down in here for just for the video purposes but something along these lines here and it'll close up just like that and boom now the egt's uh module is hid and stuff but um originally this was going to get mounted down here where those posts are but the harness and stuff that came with it is so short and i really don't want to make that long of a harness just for the egts when this can be mounted right here and it'll be completely fine but this stuff here still needs to be cleaned up and stuff but uh we are getting there we are getting there so it took a little bit of time right there to get that mounted but uh that mount ended up working out okay let you guys see it here see there boom so it's mounted right there on the dash door and you take it on and off just like that put your nuts on it and then stuff this in here boom just like that now the now it's closed up don't even know it's even in there and you still got use of putting the insurance stuff like that in there too so i like that i wanted to keep it so anyways i think it's going to wrap it up for this episode right here got a lot of going on here all right guys i think that's it for today thank y'all so much for watching make sure you are subscribed to the channel uh we're well over 1800 subs now um at this current time and uh i want to make it 2000 subs so that'd be really cool if we can make that before um this coming year so it'd be, it'd be really cool if we can be at 2000 subscribers uh before uh, uh 2022 gets here so uh we're rocking and rolling we're wiring this thing up I'm, I'm really excited right now it's been really really fun these past couple of episodes um there's been a lot of work that i had to do and just working and hustling just to be able to save up for all those components there and all the wiring and the tools that you got to get to do some of this wiring too so uh but yeah we're moving right along um the battery box turned out good the kill switch back there turned out good uh, but uh that's it for this episode thank y'all for watching be sure you're subscribed comment down below the comments help the videos out a lot too just by giving a thumbs up or just saying hey houston how's it going or heck just tell me what you guys are working on that's that's always fun too to find out what you guys are doing but that's it for me it's time to get out of here see y'all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed to the channel don't forget to go over killmersports.com where we've got all kinds of merch over there and all kinds of high performance products as well and definitely a big shout out to our sponsors and partners till next time you guys have a good one.